Hi, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another telecast of Living Word Ministry, along with LA Gospel Beat, Louisiana Gospel Beat. I'm Wayne Landry. I am your host. Thank you for tuning in. We thank God that this is a day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. We want you to kick back, relax, and enjoy the show. We want you to call somebody and let them know that we are definitely on the air. We have a good show today. We have a a man of God that's with us, that's been here with us before, uh, none other than Bishop Rossell, and we're going to let him introduce himself and his church affiliation and what he's been doing in the past few months. We miss him in Abbeville. He has flew the coop. He has come to another city, so we want him to elaborate on what's been new in his life. So we're going to turn to Bishop Rossell. <laughs> God bless you. you praise the coop. Lord. Yes, sir. <laughs> flew the coop. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Always uh, so good to be speak. on the show with yeah. you, uh, Pastor Landry. Amen. That's Praise the thing. Lord. Yes, sir. Always good to be in the studio. Amen. God is good. Yes, he is good. Yes, sir. You look at sharp. Sir. Well, thank you. Yes, sir. Bless God. Yes, sir. We are, have relocated back to yeah. Ville Platte, Louisiana. Okay. So we are once again a Ville Platte young. <laughs> Amen. Uh, as you know, Ville in Platte 1991, young. the yeah. wife and I uh, regrouped okay. and uh, she moved ahead of us and, right. and uh, moved to uh, Ville Platte in 91. Okay. And then after I got myself together, you know, mm -hmm. the portion of my testimony right, right, that right. Um, uh, I came to meet her and all of this stuff happened and we founded our first church in 1996. Right. Right. So the Lord put in my spirit to go back and, and, and do some things that uh, originally mm -hmm. that he put in our hearts to do. Amen. As you know, we were in uh, a denomination for, right. uh, I think, 12, 14 years. Okay, and what's the name of that denomination? Uh, I know it is. I yeah, just want to that was the Church, of God. Church yeah. of God. Church of God. So now we're back uh, independent. Okay. And, and we're doing cool. some things. And God awesome. is really moving mightily, Pastor. Awesome. Praise Amazing. God. That's great. So yeah. we set up corporate offices in, mm -hmm. uh, in Ville Platte. Right. And uh, we're, we're doing service uh, mm -hmm. at uh, 11 o'clock on Sundays right. and Wednesday okay. at 6 30. Awesome. Praise awesome. God. That's midweek service, huh? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh -huh. and, and the location in, in Ville Platte? 135 Benny Street. Benny. Yes, sir. B E N N E Y. Wow. Benny Street. 135 Benny Street. Yes, sir. Uh, that ought to be where? Downtown? No, that's as uh, soon as you get in Ville Platte. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Okay, cool. So, that's awesome. So, yeah. so, how long that's been in existence? Well, we've been there uh, actually going on two months. Two months. So we have okay. we, we we're set up uh, on this property. Uh, actually, it's, it's our home. The Lord's blessed us with a huge home. Great. And so we're set up uh, our awesome. offices there. Yeah. Hey, man, that's so, where it start. That's where yeah. I think all churches are birthed out of home. Yeah. You know, yeah, many exactly. majority are. I mean, I mean that's where we started when we didn't have nothing else to do. Yeah. I mean, come on, hmm. quit stomping. You know? Well, you know, in the Bible days, they didn't have buildings, so they Amen. actually started in church, in, in homes, and yeah. that's what we did in yeah. 1996. Actually, our ministry started in our house. Yeah. So we're very familiar with this, awesome. and uh, God is Great. moving mightily. We have our uh, eyes on some property, and okay. we're just waiting for the Lord to bless us awesome. on this awesome. timing. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. So you had to go through all of that to get to that? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. And it hadn't been easy, as you know, oh, that already. I know, your testimony. Yeah, yeah. but the Lord has, has seen fit in this season to, to prosper us and to bless great. us. Yeah. Awesome, great. Yeah. So it's called Worship Ministry Corporation? Yeah, Worship Ministry. So uh, actually, uh, as I said before, we went back to our old incorporation, which mm -hmm. was Saints of God. Okay. Full gospel deliverance. So okay. we are operating as worship ministers, church of uh, deliverance. See. Yes, sir. All right. All right. So and, uh, what we're doing uh, in this season of the summer, mm -hmm. uh, Pastor Landry, that uh, we're hitting the streets. We've combated the street hard mm -hmm. for this entire summer. We've been working awesome. entirely hard. Uh, and uh, here in Lafayette, off of, off of uh, 11th Street. 11th Street. Yeah, is and that, Simcoe. Is that Simcoe 11 and Simcoe. Yes, sir. Around 12 and Simcoe, where Gethsemane in that area. Yes. Uh, and then I think uh, Evangelion Thruway, all right. in that area. Right. That's deep in the neighborhood, yeah. Uh -huh. And all neighbor. the clubs, I think it's right. two, maybe three clubs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we've been in that area on uh, Saturday 
afternoons at five. Okay. Yeah, and then we were in Ville Plant right. on the Sundays. All right. And then uh, Fridays, uh, it's the opportunity to arise. We we in the surrounding area, Lake Charles. Okay. And uh, Lake Charles. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. That's cool. And also, uh, you you do prison ministry. Can yeah. Yeah. We're that? still doing prison ministry. Yeah. We at Allen Parish, and quite naturally, since we're back in Ville Plant, right. uh, we're doing the uh, parish jail. Oh, okay. uh, there and the uh, Vilplat local jail awesome. as well. That's yeah. great, man. Yeah. So, and, and in this season, uh, Pastor, and as you already know, yeah. you know, it, it's time for us to hit the streets to take the church on the outside. And I'm telling you, we're yeah. seeing some things happen. Right. And I've been doing this over 20 years, and right. I've right. seen some things that I haven't yeah. seen. Miracles every service. Awesome. The communities Great. are coming out and supporting this type right, of right. Uh, activities. We're getting calls, uh, uh, praise reports, uh, marriages are changing. Wow. You, you know, people That's... are just getting blessed. Alcoholics are sobering up. Right. Actually, uh, we see right. one young woman go into the store in Ville Platte and mm -hmm. bought a pint of liquor and came out, heard the preaching opened a bottle, poured it out, and came stand on the sure. side with the preachers. My, my, my. Yes, sir. Deliverance. Yes, sir. So we're That's still preaching deep. and teaching That's deliverance uh, in this season, yeah. in this last hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you know, we better believe that and understand that yeah. we are certainly, yes, Pastor uh, Landry, yeah. living in the last hours. The yeah. signs of times are so vivid. Oh, yeah. So, uh, but yeah. we're seeing God move and doing the supernatural outpouring of his spirit. Man, I'm happy spirit. to hear all that good news, man. Uh, you know, we miss you in Abbeville, you know, and, uh, but you had to move forward. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. And, well, we uh, love Abbeville. Yeah. Our heart is still there, and we're still connected. Yeah, so we're good. So hopefully yeah. uh, maybe on next yeah. year mm -hmm. uh, when the season arrives again mm -hmm. that we'll be able to hook back up in Abbeville. And yeah, yeah, and, 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 you know, as soon as I get connected and installed and uh, get the ball rolling into the new year and get my calendar, we invite you to come down and bring a word. We'll be looking forward yeah, to it, Pastor. We know you're a firecracker preacher. Well, bless God. <laughs> God, God is good. Yeah, I remember yeah. I visited some of your services over at the um, State Street there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they're yeah. going on, Pastor. Yeah. Yes. Well, the Lord is good, and he's yeah. kind to us, uh, and he's faithful. Amen. So that's why we're here, because yes. God is faithful. Yeah. And he's carried us through. Yeah. You know, to preach deliverance, you, you know, you Amen. got to walk it, you got to yeah. live it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you can't know. just have church. You gotta yeah. Have, got to go beyond the veil. Yeah, you know? yeah, exactly. Yeah, you got to move forward. And it's no more church as, as, as normal. No, no. You, you know, we're, we're, we're kind of outside of the box right yeah, now. Yeah. We're doing some things that uh, we have never done before. Well, and and so God is take. just moving greatly. That's what it's going to take. It's yeah. going to take uh, beyond the norm. Yeah. You know, God is looking for somebody that's going to go above and beyond. Yeah. You know, yeah. Uh, I, I've learned and found out in my 20-year walk with the Lord that you can't stay stagnated. You got to stir up the gifts. Exactly. And you got to, you know, turn up the heat mm -hmm. and, and move forward into the anointing and the arena of God, because if you don't, then Satan, uh, you're wide open for his attack. Mm -hmm. You know, and I've learned, Bishop, that if, if a man or woman of God do not walk in their calling, then they're just walking backwards. Right. You know, yeah, yeah, I, I've noticed that as long as I've been knowing you, you've mm -hmm. been walking in your calling. And, and, and we've done a lot of things over the years. We've done some TV shows at your other church, you know, brought in the cameras, we did things, you know. Uh, we, we, you've done some, you brought some powerful people to Abbeville, you know, people from uh, the Sunday's Best and been to your church right, in Abbeville, right. you know, uh, powerful service, you know, still got the video, amen. And uh, God has moved you now to your location where you are needed. It's evident that you need it. Yes, sir. You know, God don't put nobody where they're not needed, mm -hmm. you know, so it's, it's wonderful to know that you are moving forward in your call and and to know that you are called at the Ville Platte uh, prison mm -hmm. system because you know I am the chaplain at the Vermillion Parish prison system. Right. And uh, you did, matter of fact, you came there before. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And uh, we just thank God. Um, 
you wrote a book? Yeah, we're writing a book, we're writing a book. Uh, Pastor Wayne. Uh, actually, we started writing the book in the 90s. Okay. And the Lord kind of switched the titles a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, in the 90s, we were meditating on uh, how to apply the Word of God. Okay. So now, 2014, the Lord had given us uh, the word of God works if you work it. Yeah. Yeah. So in the, the fall, title? yes, word of God works if you work it by Bishop Ladies Brussel. And you heard it right here first. The <laughs> God of what? The, the word, word of God works if, if you, you work, work it. it. Yes, sir. Yeah. And you got to work it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You have to work you it. You got to twerk it's it and tweet it. Just it. another book on the shelf if Amen. you don't work it. But it's yeah. powerful. Uh, it'll take you into the supernatural presence and power of Almighty God. And there's some experience in the book uh, that Pastor Dorothy and I had to endure yeah. uh, for 35 years of marriage and 23 time. years of ministry. Yeah. So we share some personal things in this book. Okay. It's going to be absolutely powerful. You can look yeah. for it uh, in Amen. the fall. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. We, we're going to be looking for that book, Pastor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, several of our friends uh, and partners, uh, my pastor's friends, uh, are uh, authors, and I've been interested in writing since the 90s, but mm -hmm. the Lord has blessed us and uh, put us in contact with some people that's going to make that happen. Good. So we're excited about it. It's going to be awesome. a blessing to families. Yeah. Praise God. And pastors yeah. and young ministers yeah, and yeah. uh uh, by the way, uh, we've mentioned some uh, parts of our mentorship group as well. Okay. Uh, we have uh, some young uh, pastors and ministers that uh, we mentor with. Uh, as you know, in this season, right, right, uh, right. Uh, the generation has kind of gotten away from the word, Pastor. Yeah, I know. Uh, you know, uh, with all the drama that's going on in our churches, exactly. but uh, it's something that God forewarned us. Yeah. You yeah. know, in the last days. Uh, right. People would turn from faith. Right, but why? Now, I wanna, since we're on that level, why is there so much drama in the church, pal? You know, that, that turns a lot of people away. Yeah. You know, people don't want to come to church because of church folk. Sometimes, you know, I, I can you elaborate on that? I am so happy you asked that question. Yeah. Uh, number, the number one reason is people are not trained, yeah. and, and they're not simply not trained and taught, and it's not uh, Bible education right, so much. Right. It's how to overcome your flesh. Amen. Uh, and, and we're seeing it. Uh, people, this young generation, a portion of them, not all of them, right, right. are operating out of the gift. Mm -hmm. And they haven't, this is where the book come in, uh, yeah. they haven't yeah. learned to work the Word of God. Right, so when right. you work the Word of God, you're going to go into the presence of God, Amen. the supernatural ability of God. Yeah. What, what's going on because they are operating in their flesh and not the Word, mm -hmm. you're seeing more talent instead of the anointing. You're right. seeing ability to do and not to apply. Right, right. Uh, uh, the, the minute that there are, are, are struggles in one life, they seem to not handle it according to the Word. That's why we have a lot of this unforgiveness mm -hmm. with leaders. A lot of yeah, uh, unforgiveness, with right, with the leaders, yeah. because the enemy, first of all, has, has contemplated a great attack on the church. My Lord. And, and he knows if he can get us to act independent from the word of God, mm -hmm. that he can come in and weaken the church. Mm -hmm. So this is a, a, an out-and-out -out attack mm -hmm. from him yeah. that he's contemplated thousands of years ago right. to bring weakness. So what happens is we're playing into it when we fail not to get the proper training. Right. You know, uh, someone said, well, you know, tradition teaches to wait, and the word says, you know, to go out into the world. But Jesus got trained. Mm -hmm. You see, the enemy used use the word against you. Trained. So you have to uh, uh, spend a certain amount of time mm -hmm. uh, getting growth. Amen. I you know? agree. And again, that's where the book is so important because when you be simply begin to obey the Word of God, mm -hmm. you'll have the things that God wants us to ask. And that's another thing that we're seeing in our churches. We're driven by stuff yeah. and not by holiness. Amen. And you know that, Pastor. Oh, yeah. So it's not what you have. Uh, uh, that qualifies mm -hmm. you, but it's who you are. Exactly. That when you allow Christ uh, uh, to, to, to bring you into, you know, we talked about unity in the community, but there is also unity a, in the community. You remember that? Yeah. yeah just a couple of years ago. Yeah, in yeah, yeah, we had some good stuff. 
we brought that to the table, but there's such a thing as holy unity. That was what's missing. Yeah, we're missing the holiness of God, which is holiness is to be set apart. Right. And, and, and I think this is how the enemy is uh, mm. really trying to uh, overcome the church or weaken the mm -hmm. church or cancerize the church. Right. Uh, to, again, to, to, to get us to act independent from the word. That's the only way it can come. And once he caused chaos and confusion in the church, that disperse the church and have everybody at each other's throat. Exactly. And that's a downfall. Yes. That's his mission. Mm -hmm. But, you correct me if I'm wrong, to our knowledge, in Hosea 4 and 6, it says, my people perish because? A lack of knowledge. Okay, that. Okay, but with knowledge, mm -hmm. put to work, we can overcome that. Exactly. Okay. Now, we as a people, must recognize those spirits. Mm -hmm. You have to have a spirit of discernment, amen? And you have to recognize when demonic forces are coming to, uh, at hand and you have to put them uh, uh, under your feet. Exactly. By, by the word of God. Mm -hmm. And that states your title again, what is what? Of the book? Work the Word. Work the Word, right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so, so with that being said, that, that brings us to the next point, family. You think that's why families are not families anymore? A a exactly. Because there's the divide. Exactly. You, you know, and the enemy has worked hard to divide the head of the family. Oh, yeah. You, you, you know, Where are the men? We have, we have the role, vice versa, to get out of order mm -hmm. so the enemy can come in and de to destroy. Yeah. But the men, the men need to take the rightful place exactly. and quit allowing... Uh, and the sisters are great. Now, this is not a, 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 a statement to down the sisters at all, but the men need to take their proper place and, and be the spiritual head of the home, of the spiritual breadwinner, you know, and vice versa. The women are so on fire today. Yeah. You, you know, yeah. They, they're, they're so on fire, but yeah. the men are out of their role as leaders and right. they begin to look up to their wives, and that's so out of order because the wives should look up to them. And then the wives are becoming the breadwinners. Exactly. You know? And it's, it's, it's good, but it's not the God order. No, no, that's out of order. Right. It, you get it's out, out of order, order with God, right. you, know, you got to answer for that. And these are the things and the reason why we're, we're, we're seeing all of this. And, and uh, one of the things that really grieves my spirit is we have a tendency to, to, to fault find. Mm -hmm. You know, we find fault. Every preacher's crooked. Every yeah. preacher's doing this. And then it's our biggest problem of the enemy is not outside the church. Mm -hmm. You know that, Pastor. Mm -hmm. It's in the church. It's in the church. So the ones that we're working uh, together with, they should be our supporters, but right. they have a tendency to tear it down instead yeah. of build up. That's why it's important for us to understand life and death. Mm -hmm. The Bible teaches us right. in Proverbs, it lies in the power of the tongue. Mm. So it's important that we learn to tame that tongue. Be careful what you speak. Oh, my goodness, because yeah. you're going to eat the fruit of. Yeah. You know, and a lot of times why we're having uh, uh, these things is because we say it, whether right. pastor this or yeah. this or that. Yeah. Well, watch what you say. Exactly. Because, you know, you, 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 what we're seeing is uh, because we've spoken it. Exactly. You know, we can speak something. If you look for mm -hmm. God, you'll find God. Of course. You know that, he Pastor. Far, but if far. you look for mess, you're going to find, find mess. mess. Right. Yeah. So these are things yeah. that God only warned us that, that, that what happened. And it's not really so much the devil because, as you know, uh, when it comes to the well, devil, submit to God, resist him, and he'll flee. It's the flesh. Amen. We can't the biggest blame. enemy. Yeah. We can't blame everything on the devil. No, sir. Well, no, sir. you know, a long story short, uh, one of my pastor friends, he's, he's 98 years old. And uh, I just succeeded him, you know, in his mm -hmm. church. And uh, he, he said, uh, Reverend Landry, I said, yes, sir. He said, you're going to be the next pastor. I said, wow. I said, thank you, pastor. He said, but don't let the devil fool you because he used to watch him. Wow. And I don't blame everything on the devil either because I'm going to tell you a little story. He said one time they had a bunch of people in a house around the corner. And he said, Jesus was on his way back, and on his way back from the house, 
he met up with Satan. Mm. And Satan said, Jesus, where are you coming from? And Jesus said, I'm coming from the house around the corner. And Jesus asked Satan, was he going there? And Satan said, no, they're going to blame everything on me. Wow. <laughs> So that lets you know right there, yeah. the devil is cunning and aware that people are blaming stuff on him. Right. You know, so we can't blame everything on the devil. No, sir. You know, no, so sir. You, you, we got to be careful in these last and evil days. Exactly. You know, exactly. we just, we just want to move forward and try to save souls and compel men and women to come in out of darkness into God's marvelous light. You have two men of God here that are standing on the word of God. Yes. We are sold out for Christ. And I know without a shadow of a doubt, somebody's watching this television show that needs Christ. Yeah, yeah. And I know without, without a shadow of a doubt that you've been probably hurt in the church. Yes. You're probably in a backslidden state. You have probably even wanted to go to church but didn't go because of people in the church. Well, I, we stopped by to tell you today that you need to put all that aside and go to church. You agree, Pat? I totally agree. And I know that pain. I know that oh, strategy yeah. of the enemy. And this is why when the fall comes, do get this book. I want to compel you to do this. Work the word because it works. And if you don't work it, it won't work for you. Listen, the Bible says, create a he, Pastor Landry, Amen. that is in you Amen. as a Christian. That's right. Then he is in the world. So we should not have uh, an excuse to be defeated. Amen. The greater one, Christ Jesus, the word of God. Amen. Eba, sa, Come on. The anointing of the Holy Watch Ghost out, lives and abides within us. Yes, and sir. I'm so glad that I'm, I'm a blessed man Woo. to be a blessing. Mm. Praise God. Mm. All mm. that I've endured yeah. is to help somebody. And the things that you're going through, beloved man of God, woman of God, it's only that you'll be able to have a testimony, Pastor. Praise Amen. God. No testimony, no test. Yes, that's right. Got to tell the story. So instead of complaining about what we go through, endure what we go through mm -hmm. and watch God work. Yeah, because you may see the glory but don't know the story. Exactly. You know, we all go through. Yes, we do. The valley of the shadow of death going Praise through. God. So with that being said, Pastor, we're going to ask you to pray for us, pray for them, compel them to come out of darkness into God's marvelous light. Uh, maybe there might be a sinner man or sinner woman that I uh, want to repeat after you, uh, when they recognized Christ was raised from the dead and they believed in their heart that God raised him from the dead and confessed their sin. Amen. You know? Praise the Lord. If you are listening and you need Jesus, just open your mouth and say, I confess you now, Jesus, yes. as my Lord and Savior. Come into my heart and make me whole, and I thank you for it. Father, we bless you now that right. you are a miracle work in God. And, Lord, there's a miracle right now Glory. in the mouths of our brother and our sister. Glory. Lord, let it be so for your glory and so for your praise. Hallelujah. We reverse the curse. Yes. Hallelujah to God. Amen. And we decree and declare the miracle of God mm. in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Pastor, it's been great, man. Uh, we're going to have to get you back here again before that book comes. Pastor, you say it every time. We must get together. Yes, sir. Praise God. I happen. miss you. I miss I you too, miss man you, of God. Praise God. I bet you were surprised when I called you. I was. <laughs> you said that's why it was raining. Yeah. <laughs> and you know the sun was shining best. <laughs> Bless you, sir. Bless Thank you, you too, so man much. of God. We're going to keep lifting each other up, man. Yes, sir. You know, Amen. Uh, we know we are on under a... Uh, a state of attack yes. right yeah. now with Satan yeah. and his yeah. endeavors. But we're going to bind him in the name of Jesus. Yes, sir. Amen. Because no weapon. Not a one. Formed against us. Yes. Shall prosper. Amen. And every tongue that rises yes. up against us yes, sir. shall be condemned. That's why I serve the man. Amen. Ooh, that's powerful. Yes, sir. That's powerful. Whenever you have power, ladies and gentlemen, God is on your side with all power. Give it to him. God loves you. Come back again and meet him. Yes, sir. Thank you. Don't be long. I won't. Part two. Yes, sir. Three, four, and five. If need be. We'll do it. We're going to do what the Lord said. Oh, All right. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. Until next time, America, you be blessed. Bless you. <laughs>